So you just started playing DVD and you don't know which character to main. No worries, I've asked the internet and compiled the info you need to be a successful Yoichi main. Yoichi mains are officially the rarest mains. Full stop, the debate is over. These mains are either the most technical, stealth-based motherfuckers to ever hold W, somehow staying completely hidden despite the fact that they are wearing the jacket equivalent of a neon sign. Alternatively, a few of these mains seem completely unaware that yellow does not blend in with anything but corn. Which can cause several mains to burn corn maps so that they can sing banana phone in the distance, while Huntress and Nurse mains screech in frustration after 35 minutes of never finding this bastard. The downside for Yuichi mains is that they are so rare that many other survivors contemplate throwing their brightly colored companion in front of an angry bus rather than risking the possibility that they will just watch the other survivors bleed out on the ground while hiding behind a tree that is absolutely fooling no one. This can land some Yuichis in hot water as they spend more time holding out their hands so the Megmane can sniff it than doing generators. Yoichi mains are usually nice guys, more than willing to lend a hand, heal and unhook, even willing to risk swapping places in face cam situations. This makes Yoichi mains generally thrive with other, more trusting survivors like Leon's and Steve's. They may not have the brain cell for the day, but god bless them, they never seem to expect anyone to do them harm. Yoichi mains don't mind living in the support role, keeping an eye out for the kiddos like his mom never did. That is not to say that you can walk all over Yoichi main. As with nature, bright colors can mean that you should approach Yoichi mains with caution if you mean them harm. For a killer, this means that chasing Yoichi is exactly what Yoichi wants. The yellow jacket is not a hindrance, but rather it is about to be the subject of many a killer main's appointments at the therapist's office. An aggressive Yoichi knows where the killer is before the killer ever sees another survivor, and will zip through their field of vision like a drunk bumblebee. Yoichi mains know that once a killer catches sight of their yellow jacket, the chase is on. Aggressive Yoichi mains will then loop killers to the point that other survivors might come to see what's happening after three gens popped and they haven't seen the killer yet. If the killer drops the aggressive Yoichi, they will never rest. Every corner they go around, there's a flash of yellow. Fuck seven days. For the next seven minutes, Yoichi is gonna make you his bitch. Now, some people might be out there like, no, no, every Yoichi I've ever met has me die on hook while they camp the locker. To that, I say think about what you've done. Think long and hard because Yoichi mains remember and the likelihood of them using that yellow jacket jacket is a giant yellow beacon of major sandbagging to tip the killer off on your location after your dumbass wouldn't let him unload his med kit on you, or you just dump the killer off on his or fellow survivor that Yuichi just had to spend the last five minutes convincing that it's okay to accept their heels, doorstep. A good Yoichi main knows when his bibbies are in danger, and if you are that danger, don't expect a hand. Yoichi. Banana heel, banana peel.